The amount of reinforcements we need is going up steadily though, which does not make me happy. But at least we've got on, um, a lot of land with those reinforcements, so I um, shouldn't be too unhappy, I guess. Uh, right, you could actually get across the river there. You can maybe get around there. I'm going to move you over here first. Once the infantry gets in here, I can shuffle you around, perhaps. Yeah, our fuel problem is mostly just having the logistics move the things, and we don't actually have that many problems with it. It's just, especially around here, now that we had them wait for a little bit, it's just, <laughs> when do we have our troops just basically run or drive 400 kilometers in about two weeks or so? That was when we had the biggest problems, which was actually before the stream even started. Japan? Ooh, actually, that's a good question. I did notice that Sakhalin was uh, conquered by... or some Sakhalin was conquered by USA. And then... Taiwan is uh, occupied by UK. Um, at one point, Australia had done landings in Philippines, but they seem to be now back under Japanese control. And then uh, Siam was actually annexed by UK because I was seeing some Japanese convoys going into Netherlands and then um, that caused some supply problems for them in here which then allowed the British to push forward but then once uh, the Siam was destroyed then the supply situation was a lot easier for the Japanese than from the UK so they managed to push back into Burma and then they still control Ceylon and of course all the way to Singapore, but they've lost most of Borneo, or the northern Borneo anyway. <laughs> they did try Philippines, but they got pushed back. They've taken some of the islands as well. Um, actually quite a few of the islands. So I think Japan is going to fall in about a year or two. Most likely anyway. Right, so if those are already taken care of uh, there, I can move you over here. Oh, right, this is the one that got sh almost shattered. Okay, and our defense hold there, good. How about we get you down this way? The ma uh, paratroopers and the light infantry can move forward. Already attacking in here. Uh, these are probably not in a shape to attack, but we can bring in some of these troops that have been kind of left behind a little bit. I suppose actually we do have a lot of supply problems, it's mostly just getting the fuel indeed into the front line. Like, they're not out of supplies, this is out of fuel. Kind of makes sense. Seems to be kind of common occurrence uh, in Russia. Get you down here, so is that... Okay, let's go ahead and take one of these mechanized divisions to start breaking the enemy defenses, or at least counterattack over here. And then we're gonna send in... Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We are not going to have a good time over here as soon as these uh, troops from Alexander start turning around. Also, speaking of Alexander's troops, because there's no one in here, let's get to the mountains. If we can. Uh, we got a bit of bombardment. Oh, that's taking a fair bit of casualties there. I hope it will hold on for now. Japan may fall in time to clear the way for freely moving our fleet to our new Vladivostok port. Possibly. Oh, there are... Oh! Hold on, didn't we have a fleet over... Oh yeah, we do have this one. Maybe I should send you down to patrol here then. Because they are sinking our convoys now on this side. Which is bad for them. More than for us. Oh yeah, I do... Oh, these were doing intercepting. Um... Yeah, we're going to send you down patrol routes there as well. Naval access from the Allies, sadly. Um, not really. I mean, because uh, we can pass through Suez if not fighting at them, or Gibraltar, and like we got fleets all around. So it's just, yeah, if uh, Japan falls, then there's not going to be any like um problems in there. And uh, since uh, you all Soviets are only fighting against me, so there's no problems in that regard either. Also, okay, no, if we could do the Potsdam Conference, I don't think I will do that. We could. We could also buy some. Oh, actually, uh, we've got a decent bit of money. How are we doing copper? Copper shortage level 4. Okay, um, we should probably buy some copper then. Oh, 
We'll buy from Belgium. We've been trading with Belgium anyway. Right, so Vyazma. Um, I think we're doing alright in there. Actually, so this is... Yeah, this is near Moscow. I'm actually going to start pushing forward in here. Okay, Ugarat, we won. That was a defensive battle in here. Oh, and some of these are quite uh, damaged. Okay, so how soon can you do... Oh. I'm going to do a counter before you do. So there's going to be double combat in here. But not for long. Let's actually have a look at the second combat in here, actually. Uh, so that would be mid lever. Down there, okay. So one of these is having double combat. Actually, both of them are having double combat. Oh, bollocks. They really are thinking our convoys right now. Ooh, uh, the 11th division needs to pull back, or we're going to send in another one in there. And then... Not that many divisions in Leningrad, but I don't think we're quite ready to try breaking them yet. Oh, right, um, the close air support over here. That was attacking King Asep. How about you break that one? If we could break that one, we can maybe, you know, push... Oh, right, and it's also going to be attacking Katsina. Which means that the attack in here is going to end very soon. Well, actually, we move in down there. Might even send a division down there. You know, just get a little bit of um, coverage over here. Or like a um, buffer zone in here. Right, then we've got another division here. Um, this battle Halfman's army, so we should probably move it down this way. Oh, is that? That doesn't seem good. Not going to fall quite yet, but we might want to send in some troops there. Is that? You know what? Let's go ahead and send the infantry to attack into the forest. These two can move forward. And over here, are we? Yeah, that's going to hold for the time being. Battle cruiser armor thickness. Oh, and we got another long range fighter. And apparently, we don't need quite as much reinforcements again. Ah, oh, that's good. Got to get some air bases in Kiev. Speaking of which, oh yeah, we got the medium bombers there, but that's about it. We do still have some bombers over here. That's light bombers. Gonna move these to Harkov. And then over here we got some long-range fighters. We might move those to Harkov as well. That is level 12, or technically level 3, but it's a room for 12 in or 12 wings. Um, so we might as well utilize that room that we have there. And then do we have any more airfields in here? And we've got this thing, which is level or oh, room for eight. My group is eight. Not necessarily the best of places, but it could do. Um, right, I wanted you to get there. Are we? Ooh. Um, okay, let's send the infantry there. Give a support attack over there. Uh, you should move in there. You can give a support attack over there. There's a lot of combat going in here. How about we give a support attack from here as well? Because it seems like this. Well, is that motorized? Okay, there we go. That's. Pulling back now. It's the tank divisions over here that I'm more worried about, and you need to pull back. Can you actually reach there? No, just about not. Okay, well, let's get you down here. We can move in this one down there. And this one's part of my army, so I'm going to start moving this towards uh, Stalingrad. Speaking of which, there's. Oh! Plus, no, we finally won. It's almost equal in terms of casualties, but I think it was an important victory for us, nonetheless. Okay, so we are holding here. Is that... Let's go ahead and send uh, one of... Oh, at least give support attack with one of these. Maybe break through that. So, belly, we are doing okay in there, I guess. Is there any... No, there's not much to take care of over there right now. Okay, so Arzanovo sending the infantry to attack there as well. There's only infantry and cavalry there right now, so that's not going to be too big of an issue. I don't think this, on the other hand, might be a bit of an issue. That tank division is not going to hold for very long, I don't think. And these have been... Yeah, these are still under attack. Is that, that's been under attack recently. Okay, so kind of Alberto's left flank over here is having some hard time. Although, we do actually have some... Troops from Alberto in here, so let's just send these up north. I'm going to send one of these over there to break the counterattack into here. And uh, we finally won the cavalry in here as well. 
as soon as for more troops. Um, we're going to be getting some more tanks soon for Katmandu's army uh, in two days, and then like a most of the well, the light tank core is going to be done basically at the start of June, and then mid June the heavy tank or medium tank core rather going to be done around then, and then we're going to. Getting, be getting a little bit more, but we've got so many infrastructure and other stuff in the production queue that I don't think I'll be queuing up a lot of extra troops quite yet. Right, we can get you down there. Uh, we've already taken that one, so you can move in here. Let's keep the front line moving for a little bit. Actually, you can move all the way there. I'm going to be taking that. You can get in here. And we're getting closer and closer to Stalingrad. Did we ever... Oh, we did land in the second paratroopers now. Good. In that case, uh, I'm guessing the yeah the planes are back, basically out of organization again. But we're going to prepare the orders already. Um, which side do we go for? I think I'm going to go for log. Airborne assault daily. If we are already getting the troops in here, you could actually push there. And start uh, encircling uh, Stalingrad. Slowly but surely. So we're breaking through there. Excellent. We're getting already in there. Um, go ahead and send... Oh, right, you don't have fuel, so you can't attack. We won the combat there. Uh, these already won their combat earlier. So we can just keep on pushing forward. And Taz's army will finally start getting some advancing done. Uh, oh, right, and then, of course, Alexander's army can start attacking here. There we go, so we're going to be breaking through towards Bucky. That's going to take the enemy um, oil refineries. Which is going to mean that they won't get quite as good bonuses, I guess. For the most part, like this. Not that massive bonuses in that, unfortunately, but it's better than nothing, for sure. Oh, uh, is this combat? That's not going well. Uh, I might actually cancel that attack, then. Not waste too much troops in here. Um, no, we can, yeah, we can move east from there, at least. That's not a problem. Are we still getting the, yeah, the Endar submarine warfare is still a bit of a problem. We're still doing bombardments in Luga. Oh, there we go. We won in Luga, finally. And now we're under attack in here. How is this? Oh, um, the Simsk is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, let's send in another infantry division to attack there. There we go. I think that's going to be enough to break through. Yeah, and we won there. Okay, so now we're getting through here right, or rather nicely. We are getting into the mountains. I wonder how far we want to go in here. Probably not too far. I mean, well, that would still be mountains. That's also mountains. What I probably want to do is just leave a one front or one province um, front in there. Nonetheless. Um, Let's go ahead and attack there. The infantry can attack to this. Ooh, uh, the 83rd Division. You might want to take a bit of a break there. Actually, those are not in shape to attack. We could maybe send in the infantry or light infantry attack across the river. That might actually be something that can just about do. Ooh, and the division from Colm. Oh, another division from Colm. Oh, um, is it this one? Yeah, that one needs to pull back. We got two more that we can maybe send in. Uh, did we? Managed to take the Arsenovo back. Not quite yet. We're getting closer though. Actually, attack over here. Kind of break that. Is that. Ooh, that is um, kind of rough, but we're going to probably start breaking down some of the counter attacks in here. There's the three divisions from Kaluga that do kind of concern me that still. But we'll do what we can. This little air combat oven. Nelly Dovo. Not much I can do about there, unfortunately. Actually, go ahead and give a support attack down here, shall we? Oh, and also, since we got through there, and one of the mechanized divisions is attacking there. If we break through there. Oh, they got the paratroopers in. Well then. Okay, small navigation. Oh, silver pits. Oh wait, no, 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 we are patrolling nearby. We should be spotting them. Um, but we've just been unlucky, I guess. Okay, so that's ahead of time. And uh, we got another tank division. 
for Kathmandu. Which is going to help us push uh, further towards um, Moscow. I mean, the problem over here is just um, some of the logistics. And then, of course, just there's been so many heavy combats uh, early on that we haven't really recovered fully from them. In other fronts, it's not been quite as bad, luckily, but... Let's see how we'll survive. Um, let's go ahead and take these two attack there. These two can attack there. You can maybe attack there. Um, I'm going to give a bit of support attack with the heavy tanks here. Because heavy tanks have pretty massive um, armor. Well, it's only 61, actually. I was hoping for a bit more, but it's definitely more than what they can pierce. Uh, you could maybe attack there, but maybe I won't sacrifice too much yet. We haven't done the landing in log. Hopefully we can do that in due time. Let's get a support attack there. You can attack there. Support attack over there. Let's just keep on moving. Get the paratrooper core. Actually, oh yeah, the paratrooper core is moving forward. I'm going to get you to cross and die, actually. Uh, the Murmans, no, I don't think they've started retreating from there yet. They've still got pretty massive troops there. And we haven't actually pushed through this gap yet. Let's push away that uh, cavalry. Didn't take too long. Especially if we send in our bombers there. Let's put ground attack on that region for now. They're also sending in there. Oh, actually, do we have... Oh yeah, we do have our fighters over here. So, their bombers are not going to be doing damage on us much longer. Won the battle in Skopin. Ah, well, we are getting some reinforcements in there. So that should be fine. The attacks from Kaluga are slowly... Oh no, that's from Tula. Never mind. Uh, where's Kaluga again? I've lost track of it. Oh, we're right there. It's practically in our vision, but I just couldn't spot it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and send in some more troops there. Uh, it seems like it could use a bit of help. Is that... Mm, I suppose I could get a unit in there, just in case. Okay, uh, finally that mechanized unit is on the move. Or motorized uh, guards division is on the move. Oh, right, and we did get Simsk. Um... If we can keep the enemy on the move, that would be nice. Do we have more from here that could attack? Probably not too much. Oh, there's no one in Zosnibor. If we can take us, well, Zosnibor and then Leningrad, then we'll get the Gulf of Finland modifier as well, actually. Have a look at those. Uh, right, so we've got Plexi and Ursund. And Gulf of Finland is down here, so yeah, we need Leningrad and there's no boar, which we are about to take. Is there anything else that we are close to getting in the Turkish Straits? We would have to fight the Allies, but we can probably get that eventually. Um, English Channel is something that we could maybe get at some point, but that requires uh, capturing France and southern England, so it's easier said than done. Gibraltar is also something that is... Oh, that's actually something that didn't happen on this run. Or this timeline. Um, Portugal and Spain never joined the Axis. So they have not been conquered. Which means that those are technically places that we could conquer. And then that would be a nice little place to attack into Gibraltar and France at the same time. Once we do declare war on the Allies. Of course that's not anytime soon I reckon. Um, not that much troops in here. They got piercing attack there. They got some... Um... Anti-air, which would make life a little bit difficult, but we could probably start maybe attacking into Stalingrad. You know what? Let's give it a bit of a try. Not necessarily. Oh, right. This is the nearly shattered one. Archer fighter and German nationalists. Well, we do have some police units down here. Um, Black Ops end date is, I believe, uh, 1968, like first of January. So we've still got about 20 years. So overall, we don't necessarily have a rush, but at the same time, like, eventually the amount of um, resources and such will just run out, pretty much.
Okay. We got, oh, right, actually, that was the... Oh, right, we did these two and that holes that doll. The last for oh, right, yeah, yeah, this one. Okay, well, that's uh, light tank division. We've got plenty of piercing. I don't think they'll be doing much, especially since they're attacking into woods against infantry. Got pretty good, darn good uh, defense modifiers there, let's just put it that way. Uh, is that holding uh, for the time being? Okay, so those are doing fine. We are still moving forward in here a little bit. How's the combat in here? I don't think we're actually doing much damage. Yeah, we'd kill one, we lost 100. <laughs> we're pretty much uh, past the late game and kind of in the post game. You could say that, yes. I mean, to be fair, we started our war against Germany in like, what, 42, 43? I think it was 43. And didn't last all that long. It was like a six or seven months, if I remember correctly. Go ahead and give a bit of support attack down there. Although, that, yeah, that's doing fine. But for car, we won the combat there. Pull that to the side. So, what are we sending in there? Oh, right, yeah, we got some troops from here going in there, but there's now a counter attack. And then the these two are attacking in here. If we start breaking some of the enemies, that would be nice. So, where was this one? Uh, this is west of Moscow. Actually, how close are we? 164 kilometers still. 152 to the south. Okay, we're getting close. Ready for August uh, 43. Thank you. It's good to know that someone is keeping track of all these. Uh, right, so that one needs to pull back from the combat, but we could send another one in there, and I suppose we could actually give a bit of a spot attack there. Right, um, there's still been, I suppose there has been some Submarines sinking our ship still. Our convoys. Yeah, there's yeah, there's three long range submarines in here that we just for some reason can't spot. It's a bit of a problem. I would say I suppose what I could do. I don't think we necessarily need the naval bombers over here anymore. There's not that much to naval strike in here. Let's go ahead and get you to Wilhelmshaven. And then we can start doing some naval strikes in here. Okay, there we go. Leningrad has been cut off. Go ahead and start doing attacks there. And he has a spreadsheet logging the dates episode run through and major events in them. Ah, well then. Uh, the role of war against the allies would need the triple uh, IC and put all that into Navy. I mean, we're still increasing our IC to be fair. Actually, let's have a look at real quick about the USA's um, industry. Like the base IC is about 500. From what we can tell, or 550-ish. The total is about 1,100, of course. But like, once we take in um, Soviet Union, that's gonna give us another two to 300, I think. Actually, how much do the Soviets have? Uh, about 300. So yeah, it's not that bad. Hello, Anzing. How's it going? You've actually. Your army has uh, helped surround Leningrad here, or partially surround Leningrad, together with Musk. And over here, we're still not uh, pushing too far ahead. We will capture... Yeah, we'll capture a lot of Soviet IC and all the raw materials, so that's going to give us a pretty good extra room for expanding our industry for sure. But yeah, like, we will need to start putting out a lot of uh, IC into the Navy, but we are actually putting a decent bit already. And not to mention we got several carriers and heavy cruisers, we got a battle cruiser there, some more heavy cruisers, uh, electro submarines, more carriers, uh, super carrier. Oh, the super carrier can have three crews, I mean, that makes sense. And then all sorts of things. Plus, we'll have nukes by then. 
<laughs> yes, it is surrounded but not taken yet. We're also at the gates of Stalingrad. We haven't started really entering into the city there yet either because it's just we don't have the troops for that quite yet. Although we will in the future. <laughs> There's no six <sixth> army. <laughs> you see, that's why it's clever to name them after players. Or viewers rather. Super carrier advance, okay, good. Uh, that can be placed there. So let's go ahead and build another super carrier. It takes about 60 months right now because we got a really poor carrier practical. Uh, 0.8. And even if we didn't have that problem, it's still going to be quite horrible. 